Hello everyone, my name is iTrooper and welcome back to a, another video. Today I'm showing you guys how to install 5M, a nice quick updated guide on how to install 5M since the big GTA 5 updates that we've been having. Main thing to note is the biggest update we've had so far is introducing GTA 5 Enhanced. This is causing the most issues for people installing 5M and this is where I've seen people running into issues. The main thing to note is GTA 5 Enhanced isn't going to work with 5M, it does not support it so this is why you're all getting a lot of errors. So we need to check this if we actually have the standard GTA 5 installed. So open up whatever launcher you have GTA 5 on and you need to make sure that you have GTA 5 Legacy installed. Legacy is the original non-enhanced GTA. I don't even have enhanced installed since I never played GTA 5 without it. But Legacy is the one we need. If you don't even use enhanced, just delete it. It's going to make it really confusing for modding GTA 5. If you're only playing 5M, delete enhanced and just install Legacy. But to actually find our install directory and make sure that we're using the right one when launching 5M, it's going to be really simple. I will leave it down in the description below for those of you guys using any installer besides Steam, since I don't have them unfortunately, but Epic Games and Rockstar Games, I'll put it down in the description below on how to get to your install directory for GTA 5. But for Steam, it's really simple. Open your file explorer, go to whatever drive you have your Steam games installed on. So mine is C drive, go to program files 86, go to Steam, then go to Steam apps and then common and here's all your Steam games. As you can see right here, I have GTA 5. Now, if you do have both versions, it's probably gonna be GTA 5 Legacy and GTA 5 Enhanced. So we need to make sure we're using the Legacy version. And you'll know that because the EXE will literally just be called GTA 5 EXE. So to actually install 5M using the standard version, what you're going to want to do is hit the link down in the description below, which will bring you right here to the 5M download page and just click download client. Agree to all the TOS, make sure you read it if you want to, and simply download the 5M EXE. Once you've downloaded it, all we need to do is double click the EXE to start it on up. It's going to boot up the 5M launcher and once it's installed everything, it's going to ask us to locate our game directory. So again, we need to find our GTA 5 game directory. I've left it down in the description below for all of you guys using anything besides Steam. But if you're on Steam, we need to select our legacy, not our enhanced. Enhanced will not work. So we can open back up that file directory we went to earlier. And all we need to do is right click and copy address. And then just paste it into here. Just go to the top, paste in that address and click enter. And it will take us straight to the directory we were just in. Now all we need to do is open up that Grand Theft Auto 5 folder and look for the GTA 5 EXE in the legacy version, not enhanced. Select that EXE and click open. And then 5M will install, it will verify everything, and that is it. It might ask you to update game data or anything like that, but besides that, we should now be good to go as we are no longer using the enhanced version and we're using the only version 5M supports. Simply let 5M do its thing and load all these updates, and after a couple of minutes or so, you will see 5M will now start and everything will load as expected. The main thing to note, from this video is it's not going to work with enhanced it's only going to work with a legacy and when you load 5m for the first time you need to make sure you're selecting the legacy exe not the enhanced i recommend simply just deleting the enhanced version if you don't use it if you do then just reselect the gta 5 exe from the legacy version super simple but people get really really confused Hope you guys did find this video useful for installing 5M in 2025 ever since this update. Rockstar Games haven't documented it very well and why it won't work. But if you did, be sure to like, comment and subscribe and be sure to turn on the notification bell so you guys do stay tuned for all future tutorials to come. Also, if you guys are looking for 5M server hosting to host your very own 5M server, then be sure to check out my website, hgnetwork.one, down in the description below.